Getting ready for your trip? Yep. Dell told me you're taking his camper. Yeah, we're gonna head down with Wayne and his wife. Cool. Just out of curiosity, when exactly are you and Mom leaving, and when exactly are y'all coming back? You're not bringing your girlfriend here. Besides, your grandma will be here the whole time. Never mind. Wait. So her house will be empty? Hey, just finishing up. See you again soon. How you doing? All right, I guess. Uh, Dale here? He went to go hang out my Meemaw, who, by the way, is at my house all weekend, so that's a no-go. Okay. What do you want to do later? Movies? Putt-putt? I was thinking maybe we could go get a test. What kind of test? The pregnancy kind. We're closed. But the sign said... We're closed! <sighs> this can't be happening. How sure are you? I'm not sure. That's why I want to get the test. Well, you don't look pregnant. That's not how it works, Georgie. I know. I'm just freaking out right now. Let's just go to the drugstore. Right. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Please don't say that. Okay, I think I got it. It takes 10 minutes for the results. You want me to go in with you? To watch me pee on a stick? I'm being supportive right now. You could try the same. I guess it's time to do what people do on their wedding night. Georgie, we're gonna be parents. We don't do that anymore. Oh, right. Stop having fun and help me take care of these babies. But I just got home from my day job and only have 10 minutes to my night job. That's 10 minutes you could be helping. Now go change whichever this one is. Georgie, there's a band called Guns N' Roses on the phone. Really? Yeah, the guitar has hurt his hand, and they want you to fill in. Tell him I can't. I'm a dad now. OK. This is a long 10 minutes. Well? I'm not. Really? We're good. What a relief. I know. We better stop hugging or you're gonna need another stick to pee on. I wonder who came up with blue raspberry. Raspberries ain't blue. It should be blueberry. You'd think. But blueberries ain't blue either. They're purple. The whole blue food situation in this country needs some work. <laughs> so what do you wanna do? It's probably something with our clothes on. No kidding, that was scary. Terrifying. I was afraid I was going to have to marry you. Afraid? And what exactly would be so terrible about marrying me? I didn't say terrible. You can be afraid of things that are great. Like what? Uh, oh, roller coasters. You're an idiot. Roller coasters a good answer. I didn't say sharks, which is what I thought of first. You're making it worse. How is it worse? I didn't say it. Roller coasters is a good answer. Now, it needs a little bit of work, but once I'm done, it's gonna be amazing. No. What do you mean? It's got low mileage, great stereo. Check this out. Look at all the room. Hell no. Is that how little you think of me? <laughs> yes, maybe less. George, your mother works for the church. This doesn't look good. I don't know, it looks pretty good to me. Please, listen to me. Come on, if I drive Sheldon to college, he can sleep back there. So you saw that couch, and the first thought you had was, my brother can sleep on that. Not my first thought. Now I have read my Just go get your money back and buy a different car. No. Georgie, I'm not playing around. Neither am I. I bought it with my own money, and you don't get a say. As long as you live under my roof, I get plenty of say. Fine, I'll move out. And where are you gonna go? I live in the van. <laughs> you know what? It was only a matter of time before you lived in a van. Have at it. Scooby-Doo lived in a van and he turned out fine. Well? It's very colorful. Not just colorful. 
patriotic. It's also a little gross. It just needs a little shampoo. But check out the best part. Want to try it out? In front of your parents' house? That's what's so great. We can drive it anywhere. Empty field, abandoned parking lot, wherever love takes us. What is that smell? There was a mouse in the mini fridge. Ew! Did you hear me? There's a mini fridge! Hey. Brought you some food. Don't tell your father. Thanks. Wanna come in? It smells less disgusting now. I'm really good here. Georgie, um, this is a nice van, but why don't you think about selling it so you can come back inside? No, I'm not letting him win this one. Morning, sunshine. What do you want? I want you to see how you're doing. I'm fine. Thanks for the juice. Oh, this isn't for you. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> so how'd you sleep? You look terrible. Are you done? Depends. You ready to return the van? This van's not going anywhere. I mean, don't you have to work this morning? Crap. Yep, not going anywhere. Hey! Hey! I'm on medication, you know. So, what are you doing in there? Just washed up in your sink. Don't want to offend the customers. Why? My dad's mad because I bought a van and he's not letting me use the house. Oh, so that's your old Chevy parked out front. Pretty sweet, right? You have a clean title on it? Pretty much. Well, that's something. But it's got a bed and a mini fridge. Well, sweet. I'm gonna hang some twinkle lights and maybe get a lava lamp. Georgie, did I ever tell you why I got married so young? You were in love? No, because when I was your age, I bought a similar vehicle. Cool. What was it? Just get dressed. OK. I'm preparing to leave my shuttlecraft. <laughs> No. No. Georgie. Georgie, why are there bathing suit ladies where Captain Picard should be? Georgie. He's not home. What's going on? Georgie taped over Star Trek The Next Generation. Hey. Right in there. Ah. Hello. Ah. See ya. I'll take the chicken problems. Girl in bedroom, all yours. George, why are you not in that bedroom? Well, I'm just thinking of what to say. They're teenagers. If you wait any longer, they'll be done. I'm just going to grab a beer. George! Georgie? What? The door stays open. Wow, we're just listening to music. My house, my rules. And don't sit on the bed. Where are we supposed to sit? Just not on the bed. Whatever. He's just mad because we're young and he's not. Smart. Nobody ever got pregnant on the floor. Have you had the talk with that boy? Of course. Really? What'd you say? You know, your stuff. You know, father says and... He has to talk with the son. Good Lord. Did you tell him about protection? Oh, come on, Connie. Well, it's important. What if he knocks that poor girl up and ruins her life? Is that a swipe at me? Well, it depends. Did you knock up my daughter and ruin her life? Wait, I know the answer. Can y'all keep it down? I have a bone to pick with you, sir. What'd I do? You taped over my Star Trek episode. So? So now I may never get to see it. What if it was a two-parter? I can't start a two-parter on part two. That's madness. I think I'm gonna go. Okay. Hola, señorita. She's in my Spanish class. 
I'll call you later. Te veo mañana en la clase de español. What? That means see you tomorrow in Spanish class. I was going to ask how you thought you did on Friday's quiz, but I'm guessing the answer is no bueno. Adios. What? Do I have to? You want to add grandkids to this mess? God, no. Georgie, we need to talk. What now? You're of an age where your body has urges. Oh, my God. Georgie, you need to hear this. From both of you? Who, who do you want to hear from? No one. If I got to pick, I guess you. Good choice. Don't forget to tell them about venereal disease. <laughs> and I know your mom will want me to tell you to wait till marriage, but I also know you're probably not going to. Did you? The important thing is that when you're with a girl, you know how we were running practice drills and we wear protection so both people are safe. Yeah. Well, there you go. What? Same thing, but with your privates. Please leave. Thank you. My heart is wide open Can you hide my love any longer? With heavy regrets It gets stronger and stronger Those united we truly believe Believe Just accept my love and gladly receive Receive Souls united we truly believe Believe just accept my love and gladly receive, receive Baby, let me make you happy Let me, let me make you happy Baby, let me make you happy